Hey buddy, it's Invictus. Time to know you can run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. Hope your Tuesdays are going off to a great start. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us 11 away from the TM Trainer Run. So keep it going, Mosh Pit. Again, there are a couple videos that are very close from this past weekend, so definitely go check those out. If you want to retroactively give them a thumbs up, it's the best way to support my channel. Here's your meme of the day. It's a new spicy one here sent in by Ariagas. Title thread was, here's a meme to replenish the pile. Watch Invicta play the Binding of Isaac for fun and to learn the game. Nah, 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 nah. Watch Invicta play the Binding of Isaac to enjoy hearing, Oh, yeah, brother! <laughs> uh, I did like the the duality of the uh, of the thought process there. of Like, oh, we're not going to use duplex. And then five seconds later, oh, yeah! <laughs> it's going to be X-Ray 9043 Delta 8 Mike. We've got, uh, oh, yeah, a little Chad. The Bible. Um, not great tears. Not great damage. Not great... Uh, movement speed. Movement speed is actually quite poor, but I am going to use the Bible. Oh, apparently there's more more flies over here. Oh boy! So our shot speed is also really really bad. So this is one of those times where we can definitively say we don't have any good stats to start with. Um, you know, 2.10 tiers is pretty awful. Movement speed is below one. Damage is below 3.5. Range is even really really bad, and our shot speed is below one, which is also compounded by the fact that we have no range. So yeah, it's a good thing that we have a little Chad here. Also, there's that sack room that we um, started next to here on this floor. So, you know, if we get enough little Chad payouts, maybe, maybe we'll be able to play the sack room early on here, but he's gonna have to drop a lot. And I mean, a lot of half hearts for us to even consider that to be a safe play, um, especially with these substandard stats that we've got going on here. use the Bible here to fly around. I mean, we might as well like break up, break open these poop piles because we are literally never, ever going to be able to open up those piles again um, for, for basically the rest of this run because we don't have any bombs. And if I did, I wouldn't be wasting them on poop piles. So that just shows you right there how slow our damage is. And, you know, this is one of those times where you just, you got to be sure of yourself and, and kind of gauge very, very early on how much damage you've got so you can sit there and, and it's something that like I don't count the shots like individually um, for how many shots it's supposed to take whenever we kill something it's just something that it's I, I know it sounds weird but it's like it's almost like something you feel um, for like you know this mob is close to death based on how many shots I've, sh I've, I've hit him with so like that fly takes one more and then that fly is also going to take one more and you know it, it's it, it's stuff like that like it, it's just kind of like going in with the secret room as well you eventually just kind of learn the tendencies of the game uh, and you just get this, I don't want to say sixth sense, but you, you, you gain a little bit of a better understanding and more awareness of like how many shots is supposed to kill early game, especially early game mobs uh, versus like the damage that you're starting with. And then that way, you know, like, hey, can we sit here and play chicken with this mob? Or, you know, do we, can we just sit here and, uh, and trade it? Do we have to dodge that sort of thing? Trade as in damage. Ooh. Half price jumper cables wouldn't be too bad here with the... Bible, but eh. I mean, freezer baby, it is going to give us a secondary projectile. It's, it's okay. Like the thing is with freezer baby and, and any of the ice of the ice tear effects, you see it go, just go off right there. It's kind of like, it's kind of like dark souls in a way. Like you have to kind of build up. I don't know how he jumped over that. You gotta have to build up, uh, the, um, the amount uh, of ice, like, I, I guess ice stacks, if you wouldn't even call them that, um, for an enemy to actually freeze. Um, and then, of course, when they do freeze, they're dead. So that, again, kind of coincides with paying attention to how much damage you're doing or how much how much damage you should be doing or how many shots should be able to take down, like, a walker, for example, like that one right there. We combine it with Ice Baby. This one's going to take one more, like that right there. And, again, it's not something that I consciously, like, sit there and count over and over again over again like how many shots is it going to take to kill monstro i have no clue um with this damage but for smaller mobs and stuff you can kind of get a sense of uh, of how long if you play the game long enough you'll you'll just know that's the only thing i can say <laughs> there's no way to like kind of train people into understanding like how many shots things should be taking early on because obviously it's all variable especially when you're playing eden if you're not playing eden then it gets a little bit easier because obviously you know exactly what starting stats you're going to have with eden you just have no you have no earthly idea you get a movement speed upgrade. 
So I do really want... I really, really want jumper cables, the half-price jumper cables, if we can manage them. Okay, never mind. That just... That, that just took care of everything. So we are not going to be able to get the jumper cables, unfortunately. And... Um, we just got to be careful. Got to be careful. Definitely. So I can't wait to get our devil deal on the next floor. Um, I was going to say we definitely can't afford to lose the devil deal on a start like this. Then we immediately lose the devil deal. So... Pretty happy about that. Uh, man. That's been happening. That's been happening quite a lot lately. We've been losing our, our first floor, or not first floor technically, but second floor. Deal with the devil chances. And uh, you know, there's dude. I don't I, I do not have any answers for what's going on right now with this damage. But how are we missing these? Yeah, I'd say that we are already in struggle bus territories here. The the problem really lies with our tears rate. I mean, it is nice that we got a movement speed upgrade, but uh, I don't even I don't even remember what else I was going to going to monologue and segue into at this point. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna fight the boss now because our our chances of getting a devil deal are never going to get better here. On floor two, especially after we've already lost it. I don't know why I decided to use the uh, Bible there, but it felt like fun. Definitely wish we had a bomb so we could drop it on old Dookie. I mean, we still have, obviously, a 36% chance for a double deal. It'd be nice to be rewarded with it, but at the same time, you know, bad plays, they, they're not going to always get rewarded, especially in a game like Isaac. So it's just, you just got to be careful. Ain't no one to blame but yourself at the end of the day if you take damage. I mean, there are cer certain instances of unavoidable damage in Isaac. Actually, there's more than a few certain instances of unavoidable damage, but we're, we're, this this ain't that podcast. Although it would be it would be funny to do an Isaac podcast. I think. I'm not sure if that's something that anyone would would ever would ever consider to be like must listen to or much must watch. Uh, YouTube content, but we do get a tears upgrade here, thankfully. So if we get a bomb, we can get these two tinted rocks that we see on this floor. Nice little ricochet. Well, it wasn't really ricochet, but it was a nice little, nice little slide there. Kill that Claudi, and uh, this is absolutely something we're going to be using the Bible for. There's also a library here, so the library, the library is definitely one of those. It's one of those rooms where, you know, whenever you have a start like this, it could potentially give you something that you could really possibly need. Um, the Book of, Book of Shadows, for example, would be very nice. I'm not going to buy a booster pack. I think it's pretty bad. Um, well, let's let's see let's see what's in here first. Okay, so we don't need to use the Bible to get around anywhere. We can actually use how to jump to get those coins. Um, and then, honestly, like... As much as I would love to stick with the Bible for the free mom kills, that's about all it's good for. If we have how to jump or even like the, even the book of sin, like that, I feel like that's just more, that's going to help us more immediately here. Book of sin will of course generate some pickups for us as you just saw us get that bomb or that full charge into that bomb. I think, I think that was, yeah, sure. Why not? The soul heart, okay. We did get an eternal heart too. Or no, it, no, the, the book of sin gave us an eternal heart. That's right. So do we go into the curse room here and sacrifice one of our very hard earned soul hearts to possibly get into the devil deal? It's worth it. And especially now with super bandage. Might as well go check it. We cannot actually bomb these fires, but we can we can Tap the chest regardless. Okay, then the question becomes, where do we end up going with for our spacebar item? 
ultimately, I think that if we're not going to have mapping, the Book of Secrets, the Book of Shadows, or you know, even a Soul Heart Generator, at the very least, the Book of Sin can give us something that we can use for it. So I think that that is the, I think that's the most appropriate pick here. If we weren't going to stick with the Bible, which I kind of wanted to stick with the Bible, but then decided not to. Um, how to jump is good. It's good. It's good for getting to places that you're not normally supposed to be getting to. Uh, but at the same time, I would rather have something that gives me the possibility of uh, getting soul hearts. Also, I'm going to make a quick pause during the, uh, the, the transition here. So on the screen. So I will be right back one second. All right, sorry about that. I do love love the ability to to pause the recordings if like something comes up, or if uh, like you know someone comes to the door or has a delivery that I've been expecting for a while now. Uh, it's it's funny how how much how much the 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 Pokemon stuff has uh, has grown over the last couple of months. To where like I it, it's I don't know it's taught me a lot about uh about business not that i didn't already know like a, a good amount but it's been a fun fun little side side project so going over to last week's question of the episode here this was from the triply sacred episode which absolutely destroyed the like streak uh, i simply asked what are your thoughts on buffing vaults now to put this in context vaults in the game are the rooms where you it's a it's a double locked room that usually Usually looks like an item room, but is double locked. And then, like you know, there's there's like tons of chests in there that you can find, or usually nothing. And uh, in that episode, I proposed an idea uh, that would buff vaults somehow. Um, I think that that is a that that is a actually. I, well, I, let me take that back. I didn't propose anything, any solution. I just simply said that they need to be buffed. And I stand by that for sure. Um, because I think that, you know, asking for two keys, while it may not be initially all that expensive of, a, of an investment in order for you to to gain benefit out of out of something in the game. Um, it's the vaults shouldn't have they should never have any like nothing in them. Right. Like we've all seen the vault that has like a couple of flies and a poop pile and that's it. Um, and I think that for how for making them. I feel like when you call them vaults, like they should be exciting. It should be like, oh yeah, there's treasure laden or there's lots of money or, you know, something that it's definitely worth the cost and time to go check out. Um, especially like, you know, with keys being a fairly rare resource, especially in the early game. So that's what, that's what the question of the day implies is, is talking about, you know, what are, what are your thoughts on buffing vaults? And the most upvoted comment came, came in from DNA who said, yes, I think vaults should have more of a chance to at least play with an item or more chest or something to make it worth it. Essentially what I was, what I've been saying, um, like not like whenever I talk about buffing stuff in, in Isaac, some people think that like, I just want it to be like, Oh, you just, we just want it's like, you just give a dollar every time you go into a vault. No, it, like you don't have to take it to the extreme here. What we're talking about is just something reasonable. You know, let me take, let me take the two keys that I could have gone and opened up like a golden chest or something else and turn it into possibly an item or turn it into maybe like an item pedestal with a reroll in there or something you know just anything anything like that i think would be would be beneficial um so i i'm i don't want vaults to be super overpowered and like they just give you like oh well every vault has to have sacred heart or something you know it's not what i'm saying just so we're clear um that being said though yes i think that it should there should be something that is more fun and more engaging and just more more of an incentive for players to go and actually use vaults rather than being like, well, is it really worth the two keys? It's probably not, you know. Obviously, the best vault you can get is one of the red vaults, which just has nothing but red chests in it because there's some potential. And that's the thing, too. Like, they don't have to be, like, positive outcomes, but just give us, like, the potential of getting something massive in there. Speaking of massive, we have, uh, we've got, well, I'm definitely going to be using Sack Altar, so I'm sorry, little Chad, but you got to go. Get Judas's freaking shadow and also shade. Um, I will take, I'll, I'll be taking all of these, obviously. Now, the only real question is do we turn into Black Judas now or wait? Um, 
I mean, we have to wait right now. Like, we could go in the curse room back and forth, but I think it's better if we end up turning to Black Judas from a devil deal. Second most up upvoted comment came in from Alex Lussier five three seven six, who said two keys, which could be used for shop and item rooms for the potential of a whole lot of nothing. Feels bad. Vault feels bad. Vaults need a buff. And yeah, again, that's what I'm kind of talking about. You know, there there are going to be there's going to be some people who are going to argue like, well, two keys is nothing. Like you know, it's really nothing to worry about. That's not really the point because that. That point is arguing like it, it's situational, like how how valuable keys can be. You know, if you have no keys and you find a key, that's a that's a much more valuable and, and worthwhile key to use than say if you have ninety nine keys and you just have like keys coming out your ears. You know, th those keys are, are have an inflated value. So, you know, and I think that I think that it shouldn't matter how valuable the keys are in a run at the time versus like yeah hey look this is a special room let's make it special like don't just make it just full of nothing you know that's just that's just my two cents on it and last uh but not least we had a super jesus 669 who said i think it's a nice balance now sometimes great sometimes not i wholeheartedly disagree with that i think that i think that more often times than not it it is overwhelmingly a net loss Right? How many vaults have we seen where it's just it's just a bunch of poop piles and you get nothing, or like a single keeper that has like three like that has three eternal flies flying around it on a poop pile? You know what I mean? Like that that's what we usually see. Now, yes, yes, that is true. There are some positive vaults, like the one that has just a ton of golden chests. The, obviously, the red chest one that we talked about. That is that's true. Yeah, but those those times more often than not are very 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 rare rare occurrences. And uh, I think that they should be a little bit more consistent. They don't—they don't have to give you like bangers. Like they don't have to give you insane items or like a huge power curve leap in a run. But I feel like they should give something, something to make it worthwhile for you to be like, oh yeah, that's a vault, absolutely. Or you know, just give me something to be excited about. It's kind of—it kind of runs the same length of what I was talking about. What I was saying, you know, I think that I feel that like bosses like Delirium, Mega Satan, and Hush—they need to be buffed. In a sense that we need to get some motivation to go do these bosses. Outside of the unlock, there is quite literally no reason to ever, ever do Delirium and Hush or Mega Satan. After you after you get the initial unlocks, that's it. There's no reason to, other than if you're making like you know YouTube content and you're really trying to flex a run. And a few years ago, I proposed an idea that was, I think, a pretty good idea. Um, where the game could give you some kind of incentive like saying like delirium's blessing like on the next like if you go if you go out of your way to go kill delirium on any given run the next run much like eden's blessing except this is going to be delirium's blessing as a tm trainer item and it spawned from wavy cap absolutely not um let's say like delirium's blessing gives you a chance to get uh, or not a chance but it gives you a like a stat boost like a random stat boost um, for the for your next your next one, but it also has a but it also may lower one of the stats, like kind of like an experimental treatment sort of sort of thing, you know. Or if you like, if you kill Hush, if you decide to go kill Hush on any given run, um, the next floor will give you, or the next the next run will start you with Pandora's box, you know, something like just something like that. Nothing that nothing that has to be super game breaking. Nothing that has to be like over the top, like powerful in, in favor of the player or anything like that. Just, just give me something or mega Satan's blessing. You know, you're guaranteed to get a double deal on floor one of the next run that you do. You know, that way you can help out. You can help out other characters that you, if you do still need unlocks, you could take your stronger characters and say, Hey, I'm going to go for tainted Jacob. I got to get some, I got to get some work done on him. So let me run this Eden or let me run just regular base Isaac to hush and delirium and also try to go for mega Satan. So I have the best possible start that I can on a Tana Jacob run, you know, and, and that, and that, that kind of stuff goes to the player. Like it's, uh, it's totally up to the player, whether or not they want to take that time to do all that stuff to set them up for a really powerful start on the next run. You know, it's up to the player, like give, give some of the power back to the player. You know, those blessings could stack or whatever. You know, you know, again, I'm just kind of spitballing here, but it's that kind of stuff that, like, I wish that Isaac had more of. 
just to give some incentive to say, hey, you know what? Go play, go, go fight those, those extra bosses. You know, or give us like a random, maybe, maybe you could have like, like Mega Satan's Blessing. Maybe it would be like a TM trainer item, but it's guaranteed to have two mashed up devil deal item effects you know and they don't have to be they don't have to be positive they can be negative it's just gamble it's a risk you know, i think something like that is would really really spice up the game and and make it make it more exciting for 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 people to go through and do all the optional stuff really doing a bang up job here shade by the way And, and yeah, it, it's uh, again along those same veins. That's what I was kind of talking about when I proposed, like, "Hey, I'd love to see a buff to vaults, but like, nothing, nothing too in favor of one or the other." I'm gonna use the sun card here. Looking for a big room to use it in. Uh, we might as well go to the item room first, but that kind of stuff is, is the stuff that like, I would love to, I'd love to do like a podcast on and, uh, you know, and, and talk about it to go more in depth of like ideas for the game, you know, because obviously we have no idea how many more updates Isaac's going to get, you know, Ed said that there wouldn't be any more updates and then there, there were updates, there were balance changes supposedly we're not getting any more isaac updates but then they keep balancing stuff it, like it it's kind of it, who who know who really knows you know and going back to the last floor real quick we could have turned into black judas on the sack room i decided not to because i definitely want to wait until we can get ourselves a better build um leviathan we can go for leviathan here we could also just simply use void and uh, void would uh, allow us to at least have the ability to turn bad items into stats. So, and also is going to, of course, inherit the Book of Sin. So now what we can do is we can use the Book of Sin and Sulfur, I believe. I think. At this point, I don't really know how much how much of the old school void power we still have anymore. Yeah, one bomb for 10 cents or 9 cents is definitely worth it. Got the Polaroid effect from the missing page and the rock up there and I can't do anything about it oh there pin where'd you guys go that way my god I mean, that's five keys but i think i'm gonna wait on all that because if we do get a devil deal here we're definitely gonna turn into black judas um after using the devil deal before we go to depths two i think that's the smartest thing we could do so there's a full charge in here i kind of want to see what the full charge does now if we do gain sulfur or not with boy i don't see why we wouldn't Of course, Bomber Boy is a big pickup for us. If we need to end up using bombs for offense, we can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see if we can get a use out of sulfur here in this next room. Okay, yeah. So it does, it does actually work with uh, the void. Good. Again, I didn't see any reason why it wouldn't, but I just wanted to be absolutely sure. You saw that we also uh, got a bomb from the Book of Sin effect. So we will at least be able to use this here. And we have a respectable amount of money for the next floor. And what's really nice about this is we can actually use Void twice because of the of the mystery card here. So we can almost assuredly give us a double Sulfur activation on the boss. So I'll probably save... I'll probably end up saving it for the bomb fight as we get the Fallen here. The 
Zombies collar. So it was a free free devil deal item. Um, we could look for a sack room, but yeah, I think we just go. Again, ideally, we would want to have a way of turning into Black Judas on either a sack room like this or by doing it through the devil deal. Um, I'm happy to see a mini boss here because this means that we can't possibly get a greed fight. It's not one that's naturally spawned inside of our shop. Okay, vaults, here you go. I was just... Just got done talking about you. This is your chance to, to shine for all your kind. Yeah, see, I mean, this is... And all it's like this are fine. Totally fine. We don't we don't get our keys back, but we gain a golden key. You know, it can be something as little as that. Just some kind of reward that incentivizes the player to do stuff in the game. I don't think I can use the soul juice and pick up this card. So still definitely need to get some damage here. Definitely need to get tiers upgrade. Uh, we can use the Ace of Spades inside of that big room for the boss. I'm just going to go over there now just so in case we do find another tarot card, I can carry it with me so I don't forget it. I have a tendency to do that. Play Eternal Heart. And it's a room that we cannot use Ace of Spades in. All right. All right. Game knew exactly what it was doing. Hey, Pin, you got to you gotta jump over here, buddy. Thank you. So the sack room here, I obviously I don't know if this is going to be the the last sack room or not that we see but if we turn into if we do turn into to dark judas here we will be able to at least gain a whole bunch of damage that we will no longer have to worry about for the rest of the run theoretically anyway definitely like having mapping for two floors that is for sure metronome not even worth it's not even worth voiding to be honest. Okay. Seeker rooms are another one that I I do think should be a little bit looked at anyway. Uh we can put some money back. This is the this is the only shop we're gonna see on this this run anyway, so. So the question becomes, do we play the sacrifice room now or do we just keep YOLOing it with regular Eden and not using the juice of shadow? I'm hoping that we just get a devil deal here. It's 67%, so it should happen. I'm hoping we just get a devil deal here and then that'd be that. Two soul hearts, absolutely. We're gonna leave those there. We're turning into we're turning into Black Judas on this floor, regardless of what happens. It's going to happen. Um, I'm gonna take Ghost Baby. Just to kill us. And Guppy's collar activated. And again. Okay, now we're Black Judas. We can go get these two soul hearts. We have lots more damage now. Maxed out tears rate. That's exactly what we wanted. Looking better.
Oh yeah, that's the good stuff there. 11.20 damage, 5.0 5.0 tears rate. There's a nice little tears upgrade we got from Ouija board, and we also have spectral tears now, which is nice. It is uh very nice. It was fun reading everyone's comments on uh, last Friday's episode. No, last Saturday? I think it was Saturday's episode. Wh wh whichever day that the the good old days episode came out. No, I'm not a person who needs who needs or really even wants like constant validation and stuff in my life. But uh, you know, on occasion, I do. It does kind of perk me up a little bit whenever, whenever someone says something nice. You know, I, it does need to be like overly nice or like, you know, to a toxic level of positivity. But just, you know, it just it's nice. It's nice reading nice comments sometimes. Gonna hold on to the void here just in case we need to void uh, what Skolex gives us. At this point, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. Synth oil is absolutely worth it. And we did get another devil deal. And we can't take it, unfortunately, unless the only way we can take it is if the book of is if the book of sin gives us a soul heart, which it did not. Now we could yolo it <laughs> with Guppy's collar. We could yolo it for Death's Touch, but obviously that is not advisable. Um, we could use the mystery card to, to really swing for the fences, but I think we're just gonna have to wait on that. Well, maybe. We can get a soul heart upgrade. This might work out. Let's see. Lots of things have to go right for us to get this to get death touch here. We have to get a soul heart. We need to not take damage in any of these rooms. And also the devil deal has to stay open for this entire duration, which uh, I'm not, I'm not remaining hopeful on that one. Huh. Thought for sure that was a secret room. Okay, charge key is there. Gives us another chance with the Book of Sin. Devil Deal staying open is, is the least likely of the, all the scenarios. Now, we could get an HP upgrade from Gluttony, which would be nice. We didn't. Be nice, but we didn't. The Yave. Weird spot. It's a really weird starting spot, boys. Another thing we absolutely cannot do is take damage right now. Okay. And range upgrade. We could have avoided it, but decided not to. We do need range, so this is fine. And range also, obviously, it helps out with a uh, lump of coal, so it's whatever. Really, really shocked that the secret room was not there. It actually might be there. I don't know if I tried or not. It didn't. Okay. Well, I tried. Um, yeah, Death's Touch would have definitely been nice. It would have put us at 1 HP, but with the amount of damage that we do right now, unless I get really, really sloppy here, we we should be okay for pretty much anything in the game. And yeah, it didn't open. It didn't say open anyway, so I feel a little bit better about that. Okay, Vault. 
Round two, here you go. And again, the game knows what's, what it's doing. It, it's trying to make me look stupid right now. We'll take baby. Well, yeah, yeah, we can take baby vendor. It's fine. Baby vendor is going to give our, not us, but our uh, familiars the homing shot effect. And we can't take it. Our damage is quite nice here. And honestly, just outside of some HP, like flying would be great too. And mapping, of course. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you know, you know how it'd be. Yeah, we can't be taking any chip damage here. Gotta actually start paying attention now. everything in the everything in the late game does have a retaliatory death strike so or death rattle I should say so gotta be on the lookout for those shots they'll get you especially with all the stuff that happens on the screen M eh. maybe M Okay, there we go. That is a that's that's one of the most Sinvictiest Sinvictic full clears that we've ever seen. I mean, just look at this map and tell me who's playing the game right now. Might be able to get a maybe get a soul heart from these poop piles. Greed fight. All right. Uh, we can at least void that. And we got movement speed. Okay. Go in the curse room for free as well, which is nice. And we get Bob's curse. Now, we could have voided that if we wanted to for stats. I obviously chose not to. But on further inspection, I probably should have. Golden Bomb doesn't really do anything for us here. We can use it against Mom's. We can use it against Mom, I guess. He's Paw, okay. So what we can do is we can roll Guppy's Paw or roll Void um, with M. Remember, M can give you Genesis. It can give you Genesis. It can give you Death Certificate. It can give you... Uh, just... Uh, it can give you anything. Almost. Another Devil Deal here. And... Hard to in there. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Guppy's Paw. I'm going to go back. I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop everything here just so I don't have to come... You know, go go back to where we're going. And pick up uh pick up M. Yep. And we're gonna use Guppy's paw. I think you can trigger M without it actually consuming any of the heart containers, which is why this works. I think. I think. I'd be incorrect. You definitely don't want to avoid Guppy's paw. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Teleport. Which, you know what, I'm fine with that. You can teleport. It will teleport somewhere good. Teleport one time. 
Uh, I mean, we are further where we started from, but can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing. Fighting Daddy RNG is definitely not a good thing. Okay, so I'm assuming that we probably had to go around to the east. Nope. That'd be incorrect. Now this one's starting to look a little dead any. Judgment would be fine. Judgment. Even a HP upgrade right now would be good because we can we can do something with it. Luckfoot doesn't really matter. It gives us a stat upgrade and that's it. kind of cycling through our active items right now. Now, what I would I use if I end up getting death certificate, what would I use it on? Honestly, probably Genesis. The teleport did indeed, indeed take us to the right spot. That's the that's what we can't have happen. We cannot lose HP. Although I am I am a little upset that we have not seen any soul hearts at all since turning into Black Judas. Okay, we need HP and we need it bad. It feels like the last couple of times that we've had Dark Judas run haven't been great. Um, I mean, three of these are great. We we have an extra life now. We can respawn as Blue Baby. Uh, Maggie's bow doesn't really do anything. I mean, it gives us HP. That's about it. Lusty Blood, of course, is fantastic for Dark Judas because anything that has adds... Did, did Chubb just tail whip us in the in the corner over here? Because I'm pretty sure she did. I'm gonna leave that there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah we should we should actually take this because I don't want to. I actually don't want to turn into Blue Baby because it is a uh, is a significant downgrade from Dark Judas. Necronomicon is good to go. We can roll that whenever we're ready. Get a mega chest here, which, yep. That turned into Predator Missile. Turned into Lemonade, so. Or not Lemonade, but the yep, Lemon Mishap. Gotta take it one room at a time here. only friend uh we actually can't do anything with mom's bracelet i don't think so we're gonna have to pick up a different space bar item let me miss up everybody D10 re-rolls enemies here. The black hole. I swear to god I didn't even see that golden troll bomb. I was looking at uh I was looking at what space bride we got.
really, really prefer to not turn into Blue Baby if we don't have to. It wouldn't be a death sentence, obviously, but it would, again, certainly hurt. It would certainly hurt our, uh, our damage quite a bit. End up using our very valuable Fool card. Because we cannot stop going into the wrong way. And we're now blue baby. You see what I was talking about? How our damage is just not anywhere near the levels of Dark Judas. This is a this is honestly kind of a bad run. Sure, why not? We have Soul Lazarus, so if we die, we have another life. At this point, we're just playing Lemmings, I feel like. Okay, Black Hole, we can just go ahead and toss. Rolled in the Shoop the Whoop. They mimic chests, so we're just going to be pouring that. I snipe there by depression. I think we just send it here with Shoop. Um, we're probably not going to get anything else that we could use. This run, this run was quite struggling. Ooh, we actually get, we actually rolled into Magic Fingers now. Hang on a second now. We can use Magic Fingers to DPS uh, Blue Baby. Just. Literally just trying to pick up the card. Thank you, Isaac. There you go. And what would have turned into after that? It would have been Monster Manual. So, uh, what a what a seesaw run of a of a Eden run that was. An Eden run that ended on a we ended as Blue Baby technically. So. It's quite strange, quite the strange twisty Tuesday. So thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed that really strange run, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Remember, we're only 11 away from the TM Trainer run. Hope you had a great start to your day. And as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing on all my videos, everyone. I really appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Katie, Katie Bobady, and Mark J. Cameron. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta. 